In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a test set using Ragus to evaluate your RAG pipelines. So the test set will look like this. You will have question, context, and a few other metadata with the ground truth to check whether or not your large language models can generate the correct answer. And this is what Ragus helps you with. Ragus is a framework that helps you evaluate your RAG pipelines. They typically do it, or you can typically get four different metrics, two for generation and two for retrieval. They will give a score from zero to one to see whether or not your RAG pipeline is performing any good. And that's one of the problems that I personally had. I implemented various RAG pipelines, various modifications, but I didn't actually know if it did improve my RAG generation. And this is a way to get that feedback. I'm actually quite new to Ragus. So if you guys are interested in Ragus and how to evaluate LLMs, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to make more videos like these in the near future. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get the test set or generate a synthetic test set to help you decide whether or not your RAG pipeline is actually improving. So let's start with installing all the packages. And after that, make sure you have fixed an API key. And now we're going to load some data. We are loading this data over here, which is the NBA season stats. Now, I know this is a pretty lazy example and it's not exactly relevant to generating a test set, but I'm just using it as a lazy example. You can use whichever loader you guys can use using Langchain. So I'm gonna run that, and this is gonna generate various documents based upon this website. And now we're going to get our generators, critic LLM and embeddings. We are going to be using the open AI models over here. Why? Because I'm lazy, nothing really special to it, right? I have to import my various packages. There you go. And now we're going to set the generator, and now we can generate our test set. Okay, so when generating, you can decide which test set size you, can, you want to get. Right now, I'm gonna get three only for demonstration purposes and to make it quick. And you can have distributions. You can have simple reasoning-based question answering or multi-context. And you guys can decide whichever one you guys want. Now the end test set would kind of look similar to this without the answer, just to want to, just want to make that short clear. And you can have different types of question types to see how much or how in depth you want to test your rack pipelines with. If you're a company trying to integrate AI into your business, get in contact and now enjoy the video. So I'm gonna keep this a default to 0 0.5, 0 0.25. And now we're going to generate. Okay, now we have generated our test set. It took some time, took around eight minutes, which is quite some time, but there is that. Now we're going to proof the test set. So not proof, I mean to see how the test set looks like. And a really nice way to do it is actually writing testset dot to pandas and there you go it has generated exactly one for some reason that's interesting yeah i'm not exactly sure why it generated like this to be honest but one time i generated the exact same way and it generated like this so you have your question you have a context ground truth and various things i still cannot pinpoint exactly why it's generating this way but yeah it kind of works in various mysterious ways which i'm not sure to be honest but yeah and the main goal is that once you generate the question, context, the ground truth, you will pass that into an LLM and then generate an answer, which later on you will use to evaluate your test set with the answers. So there you go. Here is a quick demonstration on how to generate a test set using Ragus. Hope you guys found it insightful. Okay, guys, hope you guys found it insightful. If you guys did, make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you in my 